Thank you. 
stratospheric proportions of hydrogen and helium are close to the theoretical composition of the primordial solar nebula. Neon in the upper atmosphere only consists of 20 parts per million by mass, which is about a tenth as abundant as in the sun. Helium is also depleted to about 80% of the sun's helium composition. This depletion is a result of precipitation of these elements as helium-rich droplets deep in the interior of the planet. Based on spectroscopy, Jupiter is thought to be similar in composition to Saturn. Stellar 
atmosphere consisting predominantly of molecular hydrogen, or perhaps to have no core at all, consisting instead of denser and denser fluid all the way to the center, depending on whether the planet agreed at first as a solid body, or collapsed directly from the gases protoplanetary disk. When the Juno mission arrived in July 2016, it found that Jupiter has a very diffuse core that mixes into its mantle. A possible cause is an impact from a planet of about 10 Earth masses a few million years after Jupiter's formation, which would have disrupted an originally solid Jovian core. It is estimated that the core is 30 to 35 percent of the planet's radius and contains heavy elements 7 to 25 times the mass of Earth. Above the layer of metallic hydrogen lies a transparent interior atmosphere of hydrogen. At this depth, the pressure and the temperature are above molecular. Hydrogen's critical pressure of 1.3 megapascals and a critical temperature of only 33 Kelvin. At this state, there are no distinct liquid and gas phases. Hydrogen is said to be in a supercritical fluid state. It is convenient to treat hydrogen as a gas extending downward from the cloud layer to a depth of about 1,000 km and as a liquid in deeper layers. Physically, there is no clear boundary. The gas smoothly becomes hotter and denser as depth increases. Rain-like droplets of helium and neon precipitate downward through the lower atmosphere. Of these elements in the upper atmosphere. Calculations suggest that the helium drops separate from metallic hydrogen at a radius of 60,000 kilometers and merge again at 50,000 kilometers. Rainfalls of diamonds have been suggested to occur, as well as on Saturn and the ice giants. Uranus and Neptune. The temperature and pressure inside Jupiter increases steadily inward. This is observed in microwave emissions and require because the heat of formation can only escape by convection. At the pressure level of 10 bars, the temperature is about 340. Kelvin or 67 degrees Celsius. The hydrogen is always supercritical, that is, it never encounters a first order phase transition, even as it changes gradually from a molecular fluid to a metallic fluid at around 100 to 200 gigapascals, where the temperature is perhaps 5,000 Kelvin, or around 4,700 degrees Celsius. The temperature of Jupiter's diluted core is estimated at around 20,000 Kelvin, or 35,000 Fahrenheit, or more, with an estimated pressure of around 4,000 500 gigapascals. Jupiter has the deepest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, spanning over 5,000 kilometers or 3,000 miles in altitude. Jupiter is perpetually covered with clouds composed of ammonia crystals and possibly ammonia hydrogen. 
spot. 
producing sulfur and oxygen ions. They, together with hydrogen ions, originating from the atmosphere of Jupiter, form a plasma sheet in Jupiter's equatorial plane. The plasma in the sheet co-rotates with the planet, causing deformation of the pole magnetic field.
Suggested that a certain dark surface feature 